Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Boxing Bookie. It's good to be back. It is good to be back. We've got a good one for you today. Uh, Kosai Tanaka and Jonathan Rodriguez, uh, which should be a, an excellent fight. Uh, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you every for every single major fight. Show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The odds makers, the bookies. They don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It is also in the little ticker below. Um, the Patreon gets you. My brain is shot. The Patreon gets you the lock of the week. It gets you all the updated uh, props. It gets you ask the bookie anything. It gets you a free T-shirt. It gets you a ton of different perks. Uh, before uh, join the Patreon, five dollars a month. Link is in the description. Before we get into that, please also subscribe to Texas Boxing Scene. That's the other channel, Texas Boxing, Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. Kosai Tanaka. This is a really good fighter. This guy is mortal. He's a, he's a really good fighter. He, he's a an A-level fighter. Uh, wide base, power boxer, comes by with nice hard jab, good feet, good footwork, good lateral movement when he uses it. He does get stationary a bit, uh, but he can move well laterally. He just needs to not get engaged into a slug festival. That, that really shouldn't hinder him in this fight. He's really good at, at, at creating and closing distances. He avoids and slips shots fairly well. Like he's got some mobility. He's got some agility. He can make you miss, make you miss. He can make you miss to a degree. He's got good movement. He's fundamentally sound in a lot of ways. He's got good fundamentals. Nice, long jab. I like this guy. I think Kozai Tanaka is a really, really good fighter. Like I said, he's got a really good jab, good long-range fighter, puts nice combinations together, changes it up his, his cadence, changes up his combinations, uh, changes his levels really well, pivots out of danger, right? He s slides out of the way, uh, but stays in punching position where he can still he can still punch, right? It's not like he's running or, or when he slips, when he, when he works his angles, he's still in position to fire. This is a, a really, really top-notch fighter. Uh, he's not a super athlete, but he, he's athletic enough. He throws hard shots, mixes up the levels really well. Um, he gets hit a lot. He gets hit more than I think he should. He stands. He, he stands in. Uh, he can do it. He can sit and trade, and he's good at it. But really, his best tool is fighting at the long range. That's what you want. He also has a really, really good solid chin. Uh, punches with you really well. He doesn't go, you go, I go. He mixes up. He punches in between your punches. It's a really complete fighter, especially offensively. He gets a little stationary at times, and when he gets stationary, he, he can be hit. But he's really good in the exchanges, and he's really good in the inside. So even when he does that, it's not really a weakness. It's just not his strength, if that makes sense. This is a top-notch fighter. Kosei Tanaka is – I don't want to say he's a pound-for-pound -pound fighter because he hasn't done that yet. Uh, when, when, when he did fight a great fighter, he came up short. With um, Ioka back uh, in 2020, uh, but since then he's got wins over Shoshita. Uh, he's got what was he got? He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, six consecutive wins. Pulling into this Rodriguez fight, 20 and one, 11 knockouts. Tanaka's a, a top notch fighter. He's a really really good fighter. Jonathan Rodriguez is a good fighter, but he's not quite at that level. Fights in, 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 in a crouch, and he comes forward. Uh, he likes to use the jab. He also likes to control distance, except he's not as good at it, at it, and his jab's not as good as Tanaka. It's not as long, and he doesn't use it as much. He's slow, and, it, and his lack of speed is going to be a, a major, major hindrance in this fight, and in, in fights at, at the highest level. He's slow, but he's got a good right hand. He, he scores with the right hand. He throws it from different angles. He throws it to different, different different levels. He's really good with the right hand. He doesn't jab it up. He doesn't set it up. Uh, you know, he likes to be at range. He, he can't really 
come forward. He can't really slip and get on the inside. That's not really his game. He's not a high volume guy, and he's not a huge hitter. He's had some success, and and he's had it with his feet. He had it when he can control distance, but it's not going to come at this level. It's not going to come with Kozai Tanaka. His comfort zone is in the mid range. That's where he wants to be. He doesn't jab it up, and he gets head coming in a lot. Like he's slow. Uh, he's a bit too stationary as well. He's got the lack of speed and the lack of a jab is going to come back and haunt this guy, right? Like he's just not. There's too many flaws at, at this level to make me think that he's got any real shot with Tanaka. So let's take a look at the odds. Let's see what we're doing with this fight. Again, there's no props up on this according to DraftKings, and we always use DraftKings. Uh, but all we have right now is the money line. To me, this is easy. I, I don't think Tanaka is going to stop him, although it's possible. My, my guess would be Tanaka on points. So when the props come back, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's just by all the month. We're going to take a look at the over. And we're gonna take a look at the prop on Tanaka by points. I really like I really like the over in this, and I, I like Tanaka by points. Tanaka is not he's got decent pop, but he's not really a hitter. And, and Rodriguez has proven to be a decent fighter. So I, I do think that this is gonna go the distance. Now at minus nine hundred, I, I feel safe I, with this bet. You make it a two times bet. Uh, with a two hundred dollar bet makes you twenty two twenty two. Not making a ton of money here, but this is a terrific bet to add to our parlay when we do our lock. Uh, if you want the lock, we get you on the Patreon. But this is a great bet. It's going to bring down your odds. This is safe. If you want to do a standalone bet, wait for the props to drop. And once the props drop, we'll take a look at Tanaka on the over and Tanaka uh, by decision. Oh, we'll look at the over and Tanaka by decision. Uh, those would be the two props that I like. But for this, uh, $200 bet two times your normal bet in this case two dollars would make 22 22 and also uh this is a terrific bet to add to your parlay throw this in your parlay bring your odds down it's safe make you some money i like this bet a lot kosei tanaka uh, wins by wow uh, tanaka on the money line i think tanaka wins by points in this fight that's kind of my inkling here uh, so let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So you have to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. Uh, so uh, join the Patreon. Let's bring down the house together. It's uh, so August 17th, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.